Hello, everyone. It's your co-host from the future. I want to let you know that today's episode, there are some misplays that Paul and I do. Um, I have already marked them out throughout the battle report, just so you know. And there is a discrepancy on the victory of who actually won the battle report. I've already talked to Paul about it. We're going to go with how it currently sits. But do not worry. All these discrep all these misplays are being corrected for future battle reports. So do enjoy. All right, everyone, welcome. Episode four. Paul is up two games to my one. For now. For now. Um, Russia didn't do so well for me, but episode four did really come close down to it, Paul. So let's talk about today. Today, uh, it is 750 points, Paul. We went up 250 from the 500 that we've played the last three games. So it's very interesting just how building can go with you put even more points into it. So I'm running three different squadrons of fighters for Great Britain today. Um, I'm running, my first squadron is um, the Mosquito FB6. I am running it with, of course, Heavy Hitter and Great Climb, the Agile Positive Trait, three attack to evade eight speed. Um, but also I am running, of course, a, a regular and then the named ace today. Yes, I love playing named aces. Um, Perry Charles Pick Picard, everyone. Um, if you don't know, the Ace Card's actually on the back. I just want to give a little insight on this. Actually had their stories. Uh, Picard was a great bomber pilot for Great Britain. And a lot of times uh, he did uh, lead a bombing charge. Unfortunately, um, he did not make it back from the charge. So uh, salute off to that man right there for his honor in the wars. But anyways, yes, every pilot does have, of course, the back of their cards, I think. Um, uh, Peloski survived his, um, Purdy did not, he got, she got shot down by his allied, um, fire. Mm. And then of course, uh, we'll talk about you cause you're also running a name base as well. I but am. anyways, Picard also gives me, uh, two skill traits, mother hen and cool under fire. Mother hen in reaction to a friendly plane within six inches of an ace, uh, being outmaneuvered. The friendly plane counts as plus two for their pilot skill when dodging the attack or, uh, resisting that maneuver. Um, it doesn't say other planes so he can count himself as the dude as well and then cool under fire in reaction to an ace being um, hit by shooting if the attack is dodged successfully um, no boon shit is applied so um very interesting very interesting indeed um it's a little weird of a card to play on a multi-engine plane when they can't actually dodge a disadvantage but oh well I guess what, that's why they say technically, yes, you can actually dodge out of disadvantage, but we're not, mm. we're not gonna move that into a new ruling. Um, again, let us know if you want us to do that. So I don't think Cool and Fire is gonna be too useful for me today. But Mother Hen definitely will be. Um, then my second squadron, I am running the Hurricane uh, Twos with one shot to evade seven speed uh, with tight turn and robust. And then finally my final squadron, I'm running four of those, uh, two veteran, two rookie, and then my final squadrons, two Spitfire twos, a regular and the rookie, both with tight turn. Um, my doctrines, I have head on shot because uh, Paul, what Paul is running today, um, just a, a spoiler, multi-engine plane. So when shooting at a multi-engine plane, um, if I hit the critical, I can just decimate one of their engines immediately. But it is a head on shot, so I do have to be cautious of that. But being able to decimate one of your engines immediately does mean that I do have a higher chance of winning the game a little quicker. Um, because I am running um, eight planes today, I actually get an extra doctrine card added to myself. I have Blood Brothers. When a squadron member is shot down, up to one member may shoot immediately, uh, obeying the normal shooting rules. So any one of those squadrons can come back at you as long as they stay close enough together to Blood Brother it. Now it is a remove card, so it's a one-time use card, but you know, a me shooting attack doesn't never hurts. Hey. And then uh, my two theaters, we got some bad weather today. Um, we had clear skies for Paul. Uh, we cleared some clouds, and I put two more clouds down, and we're all going to start with one boon shit. Some bad weather over here in the Caribbeans. And I then I have strong winds. Plays during uh, deployment. All enemy squadrons start the game with one boon shit, or all friendly squadrons start the game with uh, one boon shit gained during deployment. Oh, look at that. I just removed all that bad weather, Paul. My guys are perfectly fine today. So uh, there's some strong winds in this bad weather, but we're perfectly fine. So Paul's going to start the game with his two boon shit for his uh, two different squadrons. I will not have any boon shits on my squadrons. So I'm starting at the advantage. Not a bad combo. Not a bad combo. Paul, 
What are we running today against Great Britain? So we are back with the Germans. As I said before, first two, I, I run two games with one, two games with another, so we're back. And we've added a little bit. We are still running my four BF109Gs. Um, they still have everything from the last one, Great Dive, Great Climb, and Heavy Hitter. Um, and they have the Agile, and then they have the turret engine. They are a three shot, zero evade, and seven speed. Luckily, I get to go all seven this time. If you remember last time, tropical yeah. weather. Yep, with six. <laughs> my other squadron includes an ace this time, and all my all my single all my double engines are veterans. My other squadron today is a is two BF one hundred nine Gs. They both come a great dive, great climb, and my ace is Eric Booby Hartman, and he was known as being un undefeated in the German right mm -hmm. in the German Air Force he was never shot down he never was hit he was undefeated and, and he never, never lost, lost wingman wing and so he gets I get an extra uh, power skill he is an ace course that's five plus I get an extra one to six might be a one on G's you get you're at five you get an extra agility added on agility yes so, so my three agility so three agility, yes, thank you, sir. So three agility, and then my shot is two, my speed is eight, and then I'm running a rookie alongside him for some training purposes or sacrifice, whichever one you want to call it. Yes, and then the 109 Gs, Paul didn't mention this, but it has great climb, great dive, uh, one each for the two of them, yes. and then his uh, boobies, uh, bubbies. Uh, bubbies, yeah. Bubbies. Uh, I said boobies, bubby. <laughs> Uh, is um, his pilot, uh, his ace skills are Tail Snapper. He's also got Mother Hen, does yep. the same thing we have. But Tail Snapper is very interesting because um, what Paul can do is if he tails me, um, he doubles the amount of shots he shoots at me. So snapping off my tails really is dangerous. And I forgot to mention, uh, Pick gains one more agility as well. So his uh, fighter is agility three. So, yes, yeah, so that is uh, the game today. So we're going to show you the board and get right into round number one. All right, first up, here is Pick and his uh, regular mosquitoes. The FBs are right here. Then we have all of the second squadron, the Hurricane Twos. Um, veteran at uh, Vantage. Everyone else, veteran, regular... Uh, rookie, rookie, all at disadvantage. And then finally, we have the Spitfires over here. Um, rookie at advantage regular at neutral but anyways that is my deployment again eight fighters on the field here against paul six so paul really didn't have a good role today all his uh 110 g's all decided they uh they're going to be flying disadvantage today and then his two 109 g's decided they will fly advantage today but anyways uh there is um bubby uh rookie and then the veterans all lined up <laughs> flying downwards. All right, but anyways, again, um, clear skies. We did have three clouds, that's what we rolled. Clear skies removed them, and then um, bad weather put two more back on the board. So we start, basically ended and finished with three clouds. All right, well anyways, it's time to move into round one to see who will claim episodes four's victory point, Britain or Germany. All right, so here we are, round one, quick board presence. Again, Pick and his regular mosquito, the mosquitoes with Pick and the regular, the uh, hurricanes with the uh, two veterans, two rookies, one veteran in advantage, uh, everyone else at disadvantage, and then finally the two Spitfires, um, one regular neutral, one rookie at advantage, and again, another look over there. The 1010Gs all at disadvantage, all veteran, and then Bubby and his uh, rookie 109. Net G over there, both at advantage. So, anyways, we're going to move everyone up this board. So, here once more is the before. After all the movement around one, it was quite a lot. And quite a lot too, because of uh, having to check five through two, you know, who has the faster speed for tying and all that, especially since I'm running uh, three different squadrons of fighters. But, anyways, uh, the mosquitoes just flew up the board and climbed. Um, all of these hurricanes did very different things. Um, flew up the board, climbed, uh, tight turned, flew up the board, climbed, um, tight turned, flew up the board, and uh, dived as well, burned advantage to gain six, so then climbed. Uh, tight turn, burned advantage, uh, and climbed, or, and went six. Um, I believe he just went, yes, just went up the board with using tight turn as well. So that is all of the British movement. Over there, um, Bobby uh, triggered Great Dive, 
went down quite a lot. His uh, rookie companion just uh, dived. They both climbed that to their action, and all these guys just went four and climbed. So yes, that is the end of round one. I could definitely tell you round two is going to get into some uh, shooting. Yes, some good uh, shooting. All right. But anyways, uh, let's clean up the board and move into round number two. Welcome everyone. Round number two. You're getting a quick look at the board. Uh, the two 109Gs, the, hur the uh, Spitfires, the Hurricanes, and the Mosquitoes, and then those uh, 110 G's because you know they had to start the game disadvantage, so they didn't fly very fast up the board. They weren't ready to just immediately just die. But anyways, now we're gonna move into round two. Paul, I think uh, this man's going to be able to go first. Yes, he's gonna be able to go first, and then we'll do all the other advantage fighters, and then uh, and all the rookies will be last. But this man gets to go first, Paul. Let's see where he gets to move. And of course, if we don't get into any shooting, we'll show you when. Any shooting appears where the board presence is. Mr. Bubby moved on down the field. It's now going to take a head-on shot. Uh, we both agreed it is a head-on shot. Um, actually, no, I think my, where's the tool? I think my stem might be coming. If I shoot you, am I coming out of the side? No, stem to stem is not out of the side. It is still in the front. Okay, so it still causes a head-on. All right, so uh, I did trigger robust on him. So Paul is rolling six here. Let's see what he rolls. Nothing. Nothing. What All a right. waste. So I'm now going to shoot on back. Um, uh, hurricanes get one additional die, so three shots. No way to buff this. Critical hit. One boon shit on. Oh, Bobby. And do I evade? Do I dodge? No, you dodge. Yes. Okay, so which is a whole lot of dice. Um, I mean, you can also uh, five pallet skill plus one is six, plus two. Okay, so eight. So yes, uh, five plus your three. Yeah. Just gotta keep them going down to neutral. I did. All right, we're good. Safe, but that is another boon shit over That's there. That's a third boon so, shit. So it's a, it's a slow process to rip boon shits off here, but uh, head on shot. My hurricane does get to survive here. All right, so let's uh, continue moving people up the board now. My ace now gets to move and then fall by everything else that is at advantage level. And of course, ending with the two rookies over there. Paul's rookie moving before my rookie. So a little bit of movement here. Uh, the mosquitoes flew into the cloud. They're gonna go hunt down those uh, multi-engine planes over there. Uh, Picard and Pick and his uh, regular staying pretty close together. And then over here, um, he, uh, my hurricane here burned a van to turn 180, came on down, tailed um, Bubby, and then my Spitfire uh, used tight turn, coming down. Now I'm going to shoot him in to a glancing shot. Um, four dice here, looking for another boon shit. Another critical hit too, but it's in the side here, so Paul does lose, uh, goes down to a speed seven plus his five. That is another boon shit here. For so Paul. 12 dice. And four boon shits are you. Say good. Well, at least I'm not going to go down any further, but then again, no, not 12 down. dice have been really hard not to, but man, four boon shits already. Yes, four boon shits. Now, as a reminder, Paul is all the way up to um, 10, his eight multi engine plane, because it's two, four, six, eight. Then plus his two guys over here is 10, so to boon shit it up is 11, but he's already at four. Again, he started the game with two. For his two squadrons, and then I've already whaled on two, two from um, a hurricane and now Spitfire. All right, Paul uh, gets to move his rookie. We'll come back, of course, um, with any dice. So there's his before, and then I will move my rookie. The rookie came on down the field. Uh, he does outspeed my rookie, just so you know. Um, the uh, one on G's do outspeed the uh, Spitfire tubes. So he's going to come on down, head on shot this um, hurricane. So again, uh, we're going to turn the fire. Paul, let's roll it up. Crit. Crit, all right. So I'm going to dodge first. Well, got a boon shit at least, don't uh, you? Two, so that's only my pilot skill. I uh, take a boon shit, do not lose my advantage. Then I will return four. Uh, how about another- Oh hit? my goodness. Woo. 
Ooh, Paul, I'm just I'm just rolling all the crits today. Yes, sir, you are. Episode four, I was rolling the crits, and episode five, I'm rolling the crit. Or no, episode three, I'm rolling the crits. Episode four, I'm rolling the crits. Yeah, four, four dice for five, evade. Yes. Well, it doesn't evaded. matter, but I got evaded. evaded. All right. But still, you got five boom chits already. Five boom chits. But yes, that is a good evade. Paul doesn't go down to a level, especially with all of this, though, half to move. So anyways, now we're going to move all of my guy. I don't think he's going to do anything. I can assure you of that. He's way too far away. He might. He might. We'll have to come back and see. He might. And then, of course, afterwards, all oh, that gets to move and all oh, this gets to move. So, uh... I'm gonna move him, and then I'll come back if he happens to be able to shoot a uh, Bubby. And here is the after for all of the rest of the movement for all the neutrals. We got all of these 110 Gs just slowly moving up the board, all uh, climbed, uh, tight turned, flew up the board and climbed. These two just flew up the board and climbed. But yes, here is the board presence after round number two as we move into round number three. This should be very interesting for round number three. Bubby's really going to have to uh, hold out there against all of that advantage. But he does have the support coming in with these guys all slowly marching up the board. So anyways, we're going to clean up the board and move into round number three. All right, here we are with round three. We've cleaned up the board. A good look once more at the presents. It's going to be very interesting uh, round three here because there's definitely going to be possibly a uh, bubby going down. And all of this is going to move into this battlefield over here. And then one lone Spitfire flying over to try to hunt them down. All right, but anyways, let's move into the uh, advantaged fighters here. Uh, Paul does get to move all of that first. And then my guy gets to go and he's gonna shoot up old Bobby. And then uh, we got my three, this two, that two, that two. All right, but anyways, we're gonna start off. I think Paul's simply just going to move up the board with those guys. And then we'll move into my veteran. But anyways, let's see uh, where Paul's gonna take these guys. So there's there before. Uh, Paul has moved these two guys up first. This one uh, moved up, outmaneuvered. This one now moved up, is now going to shoot me. So, uh, Paul is going to fire away. I triggered Robust to remove one more. So Paul has six. Six here. It would have been seven, but Robust removed one. Got a hit. Got a hit. Okay, that's enough to cause another boom shit on the hurricane. Well, that's, we're chipping away slowly. We'll see how it goes. And I dodge. Oh, that works. Dodge away. Well, that's five to two now on boom shits. Mm-hmm. And then we, of course, have these two as Paul is doing the movement now. But let's see where they... Actually, let's see where this guy goes because I have a feeling he's going to just come up and uh, shoot me. Would be head on, correct? Um, yes. It, well, you do get your turn, so you could turn. Well, I don't want to side shoot you. Well, no, you would. You could turn, and you would still be. Yeah. Hello, friend. How are All you doing? Right. Well, I think you can also trigger heavy hitter here. I definitely am going to trigger heavy hitter. So. All right. So three, and four. And heavy hitter to discard. I've already triggered robust on him, so I can't do it again. So I got eight dice coming in on you. All right. Let's see if we can get a crit. We did. All right. Three All right. for me. I still ah, dodge it. Well. And then this three for my shot. I hit you. I'll come over here. Oh, I don't have to. Do, this time I don't have to take a hit because it's a, it's a devil. It's a devil it's engine. Yay. Devil engine, yep. But see if I move a level. Yep. Yep. All right. Do go down one. Do go down one, but I'm already now two boon shits on the hurricanes. Paul has one more guy to move. So there is his before. A little bit more movement and a uh, quick correction. So he moved on um, this one. Where did he? What did he do? Did he just climb or? 
he cl- he outmaneuvered. He shot. He shot. Oh, he yeah, moved. he shot. He shot. So that's how I got it. And then he moved. He's doing opening fire on my hurricane over here. So he's going to try to get another bunch. As you can see right here, uh, both of the one line G's are gone. Um, we did some rule correction. When you break it down to squadrons, so with us now being 750 points, we have each three squadrons. Three different ones, because uh, each squadron must be broken down to an element. So um, an element is um, at least two aircraft. So one element, the Hurricanes are another element, Spitfire is another element. So they each track their own morale, because they're each a squadron. Hmm. Their own morale, the Hurricanes are, have their own morale, and the Spitfires have their own morale. The 109Gs took three boom chits. That exceeds their morale, because there's only two fighters on the entirety of the uh, 109G. But and my Hurricanes are down to only two morale left, three morale for the Spitfires, and then six morale for the um, both of my uh, Mosquitoes. But yes, uh, we had to go check the rules on building. You track morale per each squadron. Paul was running two squadrons. I am running three di- different squadrons. So yes, um, the 109Gs are out of the game. So um, it's right now, and Dogfight is still um, whoever accumulates more boon shits. Um, it's still, um, these guys still are left. Um, accumulated full boon chits is still 10. Uh, as of right now, it's only four. But anyways, uh, opening, after all that opening shot, let's hit the hurricane. Paul's rolling up three. His last couple of opening shots and- uh, Nothing. Nothing there, but he did get some good opening shots in uh, episode four. So yes, now that we have corrected the board and we've moved all of that, we're going to move into these guys. I moved up the uh, hurricane, the veteran hurricane over there, outmaneuvered, got it off on the um, the 110G. Lucky enough, the 110G doesn't have any agility, so it's just on pilot scale of four. Paul didn't get it. Now I moved up the uh, Spitfire. I'm going to take a head-on shot. I triggered a head-on attack to, if I get the crit, I'm going to decimate one of Paul's engines immediately. But anyways, uh, nothing else other than that. Um, four dice. Here we go. I do not get the critical result, so uh, Paul just uh, has a normal hit, so just oh, okay. normal dodge. And then Paul will get the return fire. Uh, no dodge, so he does get to go down a level. And then um, Paul does get to return the fire yep, on And him. I will do heavy hitter. So that'll be three, one for heavy hitter, and then... Four power skills, so eight, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see if I can get a crit here. <laughs> ouch, wow. Ouch, ouch. Wow, nothing. That, that kind of hurts. All right, well, it kind of sucks too because I forced you down to disadvantage and I think you would like to have returned fire and take a boom shit on that because right. it's only a morale of three for these Spitfires and then they'll jump. <sighs> All right. But anyways, we did also check the ruling for uh, dogfight for this scenario. It is boon chits accumulated per squadron. So I've already uh, forced off one squadron. So now I need to force off this squadron or kill all the planes in this squadron. And it is uh, two, four, six, eight, eight. So um, two of these planes going down will force morale and they will run and I will win by accumulated boon chits for both squadrons. But Paul, uh, does only have to hit the Spitfires twice and they will run off. Yeah, Spitfires three times and they will run off. The Hurricanes two more and they will run off. And then one of these guys has to fall and then one guy has to lose an engine before they run off. Because again, you count by morales by how many remaining engines you have in a multi-engine plane. So uh, one engine off this guy and he, no, wait, one guy dies, he runs off. I have four there. For some reason, I'm counting a third engine, but I don't have a third engine. It's a third boon chip when they fall. Paul just has to sink one guy and they will run off. But anyways, that is the end of uh, that guy. So we have one more advantage and then I will move all of my neutrals. For my final um, advantage fighter, the Hurricane flew up the board, is now going to well on to Paul's um, 110G in the front. Another head on attack here. Um, and all that, so I'm going to, and I do not get a head on attack uh, doctrine card. It did not return to me from the pilot. So three shots. Paul will take a boon shit there. 
cannot uh, dodge. This one will go on that one correct, yes. directly. Okay. So directly. he is now permanently, he, he can no longer go to no more than neutral. He can and his speed neutral. drops down to six. He drops down to six and he does not have the turret anymore. Yep. All right. Let me get the head on shot. See what happens. Yep. Wow. Wow. Uh, things aren't going your way. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, if you're watching still, know that I'm going to lose more than likely because I now have five boon shits. Oh boy, this is getting ugly. Yes. Ugh. All right. Let's uh, now move into all of my neutral fighters. <clears throat> and Pick is going to move up first. Pick uh, flew out of the cloud, turning 180, tail the 1010. Um, this guy cannot see Pick because I'm on uh, his side. Um, and now I'm going to shoot him with um, eight here. Yes, five plus three. Rolled on that. Nope. Pick can't uh, uh, can't shoot his guns right now, or whoever is uh, helping him fire the guns. Uh, Does it matter if I even roll the one? Because you're a big plane. I can't even hit you if I do anything, right? Well, you still get to roll it. No. Still get to return it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'd be able to dodge it. Yeah. But anyways, that was a turret firing back at me. But anyways, uh, we're going to move now into my four, this three, and that two. So let's see where they all get to move. The veteran moved up the board, is now going to shoot at this uh, 110. The 110 is also going to return the shot. It's a head-on, so I'm going to swing five at it. That is a hit on him, but it won't matter unless it will matter if Paul doesn't dodge it at oh, yeah. four. Oh yeah, dodge dice first. Oh, he I dodged, dodged it. it. Okay, so he's perfectly fine. Now we're going to move into the attack. Here comes Paul's attack. I do oh, not nothing this. there. Ooh, I do not. Man. Wow, this is not my game. It Clearly, clearly not, not my game. Not, not your game right now, Paul. But anyways, now we're going to move to. This three next. My Spitfire 2 uh, flew up into the cloud up there. The Mosquito uh, Burn 180 flew out and it's going to climb. And now I'm going to start off with this Hurricane firing at this 10, uh, 110. Again, if you did not see episode seven where uh, we talked about multi-engine planes, you can fire them. You can fire any multi-engine plane relative to your own level. So um, this Hurricane can fire at this neutral uh, multi-engine plane. Three shots coming in. Nothing there, Paul. So you do not get to, you don't need to dodge, but now you get to fire back at me. Yes, I get to fire back at you with a little bit of gusto here. So three, seven. Yep. We'll see what happens. We haven't been doing so hot so far. No, not so far. Oh, two rolled out. Uh, hey, I there, got a hit. There is a hit, so I will dodge, otherwise I will be going down a level. I get at least a boon shit. Yay! Oh, he I dodged, it. dodged it. But that is a boon shit on me. One more boon shit, and I can get rid of all them little purple planes off the off the field. Yep, all of the hurricanes will be running as they have uh, burnt their morale. Anyways, here is his report. So I decided to uh, go for the biscuit. Uh, he burned a bench, turned 180, is now going to shoot this uh, 110G into the back. No way to dodge, no turret coming back at me, so three shots. And that is him gone. <clears throat> One 1010G is Bloop. dead. But here is the board presence. Um, the Hurricanes are nearing their morale. They only need to take one more uh, boon shit and they will be at morale. Um, Spitfires are perfectly fine, and so are the mosquitoes. But the um, one more there, Paul. Uh, three. Oh, my bad. Yep, there we go. So just to show you, Paul is at four again. Um, the 109G is already uh, ran off. But anyways, here is the board presence after round three. Round four. Let's see if it's the ending round. Right now, Paul has four boon chits to his uh, six engines. So basically. Uh, one more plane does it for me. One more plane does it for me. But Paul does still has uh, veterans that can still outspeed a little bit of this field, not a lot of it. So we're gonna clean up the board and move into round number four. So we've cleaned up the board for round number four. So to start it off, Paul's uh, 1010 gets to go. Then all of my, um, my one veteran that is uh, at advantage gets to go. And then uh, Paul's 
uh, than my neutral over there. Yes, because of uh, pilot skill, than these two neutrals. Or after uh, the other advantage, I totally forgot. I have a rookie and the regular at advantage, and I have this guy at advantage. So him, veteran, regular, regular, rookie, then pick the two 110s, veteran, and then um, spit fire. So, and then my one lone uh, disadvantage dude. So anyways, uh, let's see what Paul can do with this one guy. Moved up the board, coming for the shot. He just needs one shot, but it is a head-on shot. Here we go, Paul. We just need one shot here until he forces off the hurricanes. Yay. That forces off the hurricanes, but I will still dodge and shoot here. So I'm going to dodge. It's a uh, true speed. So I need four. Okay, so I got my six for my... So I, uh, oh, I guess the day does. Well, I guess the day matters like if I was still there, but anyways, that didn't really matter. Um, I evaded it though, folks, for you. Five. Nope. He doesn't get to return the fire. The Hurricanes have um, reached their morality. The Hurricane Squadron will now run. So that does remove a little, couple of my advantage fighters to go here. Um, so that leaves one Spitfire and one Mosquito to move before Paul's neutrals. I've cleared out all the Hurricanes. Their morality is now, uh, they've exceeded their morale, so they're not, not going to be around anymore. So anyways, the Mosquito came up the board, turned 180, is now going to shoot Paul in the back. The turret gets to return the fire here. Six dice. Nope. Uh, one turret done. I will use the heavy hitter on it though. All right, Make heavy hitter two. on turret. So chug, I, chug, 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 chug. It's a really, little, little chance really for a heavy hitting turret. Yeah, I got one. I got a hit and you got to block it. You got to block it. All right, so it is. Uh, I can push you down at least. Three plus two. All right, so five. Nope. Doesn't matter. I blocked it. All right, well, that uh, leaves only one more neutral. Paul, could you take one of the six and I think measure it up. Do I have an opening shot here with the spit fire? Push him back up a little bit. I mean, very close, very close, sir. Actually, I'd say yes. Okay, looks like there's an opening shot here, so I'm going to return it. It's not gonna be head on. Actually, measure from your guy. I think it's actually going to be head on. I think your, um, your front actually passes through me. Oh my goodness. Does it though? Yeah, line-wise it would, so it would be. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, so we'll, we'll return some fire between each other. So Spitfire will go first, shooting uh, four here. That is a hit. So Paul gets to, of course, uh, dodge, and then he will get to return fire. Do not oh, dodge, so go down. So he goes down. There he is going on down. Up. Now then, uh, gunfire coming in. So seven. Crit. Crit. All right, so uh, Spitfire is speed three, so I go down to five. One, two, three. There we go. And I evade, but I do take a boon shit there. All right, so he's taking a boon shit and now he will move. Spitfire burn 180 came on down, gonna shoot into the uh, side here. Nope, no side shot, which would have been really nice because he's disadvantaged. But anyways, we're gonna start off with the neutrals. Paul, I'm gonna blam you into the back with good old pick. Eight dice coming into Paul's back. That is a critical hit. So three dice from my... Yes. Oh. He's going to go down a level as well, which is really nice, because that means that Spitfire now gets to go before he does. Now, do I still get the turret or not? Yes, you do get the turret, so... But one. One shot. Do I want to do the heavy hitter on it and waste the other one? 
you already triggered it when yeah, I tried. I think it was that one. Yeah, you. It's fine. It didn't matter anyway. It's uh, fine. It don't matter. All right. So pick is going to get to move. A couple more movements here. Picard flew off away. Poorly trained pilots was triggered on him to attempt him to uh, not climb to his advantage and basically then be completely uh, decimated. Uh, because again, these two guys can just fly up, one of which has already an opening shot on him, and I'd already be at disadvantage. Wouldn't be able to dodge it, and then the next guy could just come fly up, decimate me into the back, and then just blow the card off. That would force me, uh, my other mosquito, to run off, because his morale would be exceeded. But anyways, this Spitfire flew out of the cloud. Um, he didn't do anything fancy. He just flew on down out of the cloud. Um, is now going to well his three shots onto the side of this uh, disadvantaged BF-110. Nope. Mm, that's not good. All right, Paul, I believe you should have a shot if you want to measure it up real quick with the little stick. I think you have a shot into my rear. I do. All right, well, I don't have any way to return any fancy flyers. So, so anyways, uh, seven shots into my rear. Woo no, you know, I already have eight dice. I'm not going to trigger a uh, mother hen on him. Okay. So here we go for Paul. That's a crit plus. That's a crit. All right. So I will lose one agility. I will go to a natural agility of two plus then my five for uh, good old Picard. Woo! Look at that. Go down, Picard. Go Oof. down. Oh, that's Oof. not good because you can just move up and then nail him in the back. Uh, that's fun. All right. Well, um, Paul. You get to move uh, this man right here because he did take the shot so far. So uh, this is his before. So Paul moved up his minimum of four. Gonna shoot the card in the back. Here it comes. Hold on, the card. Got a hit, uh, but an just decimated out of it. <laughs> Uh oh, Picard's losing in his engine, but it's not over yet. Um, he still has one more neutral uh, disadvantage to fly. And there is the boom ship of one of Picard's engines. They're gone. All right. So there is that man's before. This is the end of Picard. Okay. I got to get a, I gotta get so a hit here first. Here we go, shooting into the rear. Hasn't been good to me so far. And it's not oh, good to me wow. again. Oh, wow, wow, just, mm, wow, wow. That was a chance for uh, Pick to uh, go down. Well, that is it for the board presence. After round four, as we move into round five, this is all Paul has. I am pretty much um, burning right now. Uh, Pick's gonna have to try to do some fancy flying skills to get out of there. Um, I got one more shot on you. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, next uh, round. Next round, yes. So, we're gonna clean up the board and uh, move into round number five. All right, we've cleaned up the board. This man gets to move first, and I'm pretty sure, Paul, you are within six to start off the shooting game and finish off good old Picard. Do you want to check it to make sure you're within the six? Yes. Yep. All right, seven dice coming at Picard. No way to dodge. I don't have Blood Brothers to use for this, so this is it. Got the him. card is down. And that is three boom shits exceeding the morality of this mosquito. So he's going to run as Picard is destroyed, crashing into the Caribbean uh, sands below. Glory to him in the highest. All right, so that means this man gets to move. All is left for me is the Spitfires. One, uh, two more shots, and they are both out, and Paul will win because all my planes have been forced out. So why don't we just take a gander at Paul's movement here? All right, so I'm going to burn advantage to turn 180 at any point. Yep. My friend is in the three spot, so we're going to land him there. We're going to turn and come this direction, four. All right. And I am coming in. So you can't shoot at either of them because they're both neutral to you, but you can outmaneuver either one of them. And that is the plan. I'm going to outmaneuver. Um, outmaneuver the two, outmaneuver the three. I'm going to outmaneuver the three. So All right, we're going to go down, which means the two now gets to go. Whew. 
let's see where he's going to do. All right, so after a movement, uh, tight turn, turned on down, climbed, tight turn, flew on down, um, flew four, flew seven, climbed. Uh, they both just flew and turned and climbed, and then he just flew up and, as everyone knows, outmaneuvered my three. So it's coming down to round six. Um, one more plane needs to go down to force morale, and one plane and one boon shit, or two boon shit is all that needs to force morale off the, off of the um, spit. So it's really going to come down to one plane and two boon shits. So as we clean up the board to move into round number six, well, we quickly cleaned up the board. My rookie will now fly first, so he's going to fly and then do some fancy shooting. Spitfire. Uh, tight turn, flew on down, um, was able to trigger the outmaneuver over there. Um, again, doesn't have any agility, so it's just on pilot skill for <laughs> even four dice don't assess for Paul. This man burned 180 to disadvantage himself. Now he's coming on. Oh, wait, no, Paul, you can't shoot me. Remember, uh, you are. Um, Paul was going to shoot, but then I realized, right, we're both at the same advantage level. Oh, I just tailed you, now's it. Okay, yeah. So anyway. So anyways, it is tailing, but that is not too bad because it does force that down because now this guy gets to go. All right, so Paul, there's the before. All right, here we are at the end of round six. Um, turn 180, came down, climbed, flew up there, climbed, flew into the cloud, thanks to tight turn, and then of course went to neutral. Uh, no pilot action. Uh, could just climb, but there's no reason flying out of the cloud puts me into neutral state. Uh, um, no, who cares? He doesn't have an action. Could climb him, but no action, no action. And anyways, then, because um, it really isn't going to matter. Uh, if I climb him and go to advantage, then I'm just going to burn the advantage to get to when I go out of the cloud, so it doesn't really matter either way. But anyways, that is round six. We're moving on to round seven, the first round seven Paul and I have ever been to in any one of our Blood Red Skies um, recordings or battle reports so far. So we're gonna clean up the board and move into that round. All right, folks, here we are, round seven, round seven. My two gets to move first. So let's see where he goes. Burned 180, went up a single inch, then, uh, no, two inches, then went out the remaining five was able to tell him within the six inches, six inches, and now I'm gonna shoot him with three into the rear. Uh, Paul, cannot dodge. And that doesn't matter, but anyways, the turret can now shoot at me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, all right. Well, now we're gonna move into the neutrals. This man gets to move first. German came on down, four. Outmaneuvered my um, Spitfire. I Forgot to turn, but I'll adjust it in a minute. Paul forgot to turn. Uh, real quick, check to make sure that it's nine. Uh, for some reason, my eyes don't tell me it's nine. From here to here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's seven. well with the nine. It's like seven or eight. Here, let me, while you're, before you shoot out. Just... Yeah, we're gonna shoot here. There. All right, but That's anyways, my, my Spitfire is going to fire into the rear, uh, the side of this uh, 110. No dodge, four shots. That is finally a hit. Um, engine is down, so now uh, Paul gets to move both his uh, disadvantaged fighters, and then we will see what happens. So here is their before. Oh. End of round seven. So, flew one down, took a risk right here with Paul, with him being out one engine. Um, outmaneuvered the three, and then that guy just flew out of there, um, trying to keep away from this Spitfire. But yes. The game is now moving into round eight. It's time to see. Paul gets to go two of his fighters before um, three of his fighters, all three of his fighters before I even move one Spitfire. So this is Paul's advantage right now. So we're gonna clean the board and move into round number eight. Cleaned up the board for round number eight. So Paul's gonna start it. That 110, which is the only one two neutrals, but I suppose Paul wants to do the better one first. That guy's gonna just be boring, probably. Yeah, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to shoot we're for gonna him. Shoot at this Spitfire into, I would have to guess, well, well, we'll judge that once Paul gets the hit. So let's see if Paul can get the hit first. Paul, do you wish to trigger heavy hitter or anything? 
Heavy hitter, you're within the three. A critical hit would put me down one more, depending on where the well, shot Well, right, I'm just thinking. Because it looks like the shot yeah. is coming to the side, if not the rear. If it comes in the rear, I lose, uh, I'll go down to five. I'll, go, side. I'll go eight. All right, trigger. higher chance with the, any success being a critical. Oh, oh my goodness, man, at least it was the pregame. At least you get to move now, so. Wow. Where is he, uh, gonna go, Paul? And then uh, we'll move him as well. So there's his before, here's his before. Here is inclusion of round seven. Uh, eight. Oh, right, no, round eight. Yes, thank you, Paul. Uh, round eight, uh, burned advantage, flew on down, climbed. Burned advantage, climbed. Uh, just flew, and these two Spitfires uh, went forward and climbed. So now we're on to round number nine. So we're gonna clean up the board and move into round number nine. All right, so here we are for round number nine. Um, quite a lot of interesting stuff going on. But anyways, this is it for Paul because I think he can get it. I really didn't have much of a way to like keep out of it because now all the, vet all the veterans get to go first before any of these spits get to go. Because again, they're all four, so a three and a two. So here is the before. Uh, flew up the board, um, just turned, out to maneuver the rookie. Now we're gonna have a head-on attack here from him to him. My uh, Spitfire is attempting to use head-on attack. Um, I read the card, it doesn't state I had to use a pilot action attack to use the card, since we are just attacking at each other. Here, uh, I will use as the card is written. Uh, let me know down in the comments that that's not right. But anyways, if I can get the critical, Paul, one of Paul's engines goes up, but uh, Paul is looking for a success here to sink me as I am at disadvantage. Come back here. So eight, uh, did you trigger heavy hitter as well? No, you're not. I'm not in three inches, no. Okay, yep. Here we go. <sighs> All right, well, uh, I'm gonna fire my uh, three dice, looking for the critical result. Well, that is a hit there, so Paul, you do get to dodge at four. Please go down. <gasps> Oh, thank uh, you. Okay, so now this guy gets to move. So here is his before. Well, actually, we'll just kind of show it because I think we're just going to come in and try to... We're going to do the same thing. Okay. Well, before then, I'm going to trigger my head-on attack before we begin head-on attack. It's pilot you can skill. do it again? Well, I get it back with a pilot test. Okay. I do get it, so I'm okay. going to do it again. No, I can't trigger the same card on the same plane. So, he can't do it again because he already had a head-on attack trigger on him. Now I will trigger heavy hitter. Heavy hitter's coming at me, everyone. That's eight dice. Here we go. No way! Wow, okay, um, three dice coming in. Nothing, wow, this is... This is insanity right now. This is insanity. Come on. Well, this guy does get to move now, Paul. So here's before, and then we will move both of these guys. This man here uh, burned 180, go through the cloud, claimed back to neutral because of going, coming out of the cloud. I was maneuvered my three. Now my three is going to shoot um, at Paul's four. Again, multi-engine planes gonna be shot relative to whatever band level I'm at. So I'm looking for four here into the side. That is a hit. Paul's coming in with his evade. No wow, way! Wow, that's a. Uh, this could basically come to the end of it because now it's going to be disadvantaged. Wow, out of 11 dice. Wow, okay, well, he is now going to move. Spitfire, uh, as you can see, I had to pull him off the base to get him under there. But Spitfire is now going to fool up his four, is now going to shoot Paul into the side. No evasion here. Nothing. All right, well that just leaves my two. Paul, let's do it. Head on a head on attack between the two and your four. Um, three dice here for me. I'm gonna roll them up now. That is a hit, so an engine is gone. Kablamo. But Paul, gotta come over here, sir. Let's see if you can do it. I got seven, seven dice. dice. It has not been good dice today. Let's no, see what happens. Your dice have been horrible. No <laughs> way! Wow, okay. Um, don't need to dodge that. Wow, okay. Um, his turret is gone. Now he's going to fly, and then we'll just show you where the board state is. Round number 10. Here we are. Uh, we've cleaned, Paul was cleaning up the board prematurely there. 
uh, getting ready for course number round number 10. But anyways, round number nine, apologies for not in round number 10. And then the round number nine flew up the board and turned and that is basically it for me. Um, I now have to survive this and this coming in on him because he is sitting at disadvantage because I was taking the risk of hitting the engine, knocking it out, and then the two knocking him out for good, giving me the win. So we move to round number 10. So we're gonna get the board, take a deep breath and move to round number 10. All right, here we are, round number 10. Here is the board presence. Paul's guys get to move first. And then my dude up there, and then this dude, and then, well, he's probably dead, and this is probably gonna be the game. So, Paul's die rolls. I think we've not... said that five year rounds round, round ago. <laughs> we've said that quite a lot. Paul's die rolls have not been on his side at all. So, this four and this four, here as they before, neither of them can open fire in the beginning against my three Spitfire. So, um, here's there before, and we'll see thereafter. All right, so after movement, um, he flew up the board. His four turn is now gonna shoot me into the, it looks like the rear, but we'll determine that after the shots. I have seven dice. Seven dice. Am I within three inches? I do not believe you. Why don't you check it? I'm gonna Let's check it just in case. Let's check for a heavy hitter. Let me know the help I can get. <sighs> arguable. No, it, it looks arguable. I'll give it to you, Paul. You, okay. you take it. You, you take a heavy Once, hitter there. Where's three? Three's right there. We'll just extend it out and we'll measure the three. The three's right there. Okay, so we are in. Okay, I just don't want to. All right. Here we go. Roasted heavy in hitter. the comments. They're already going to roast me enough for my bad dice. Oh, God. Come on. You have oh, got to be kidding wow. me. What? <laughs> Paul, your dice. Your dice. All right. Well, you still got this guy to do it. I don't know that it even matters. All right. Here we go. I don't go. think what, what I do. Did you get me within at least the six? Is that. Uh, could you turn him? Just make sure he turns the actual 45. I think you might have turned like a 90. I am so sorry. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. My apologies. And here we are. Okay. I mean, yeah. you still can't. No. no, I'm going to have to trigger my opening shot. <laughs> opening shot for it. Let's shoot three dice at me in the rear. I don't know why I'm even this. Actually, it's ridiculous. Yeah, no. Okay, sorry. I was just checking to make sure Paul could actually shoot out of his, his front. It wasn't coming like weirdly in the set. I got to hit at least. Got it. All right. In the rear. All right. Here we go. Rolling six. I survived it, but I only have to take one more hit on me to uh, to get. So opening shot. At least I got a boon shit ball. off of you. So my two now gets to move. All right. So my friend is going to try to win it for us here in Britain and tie the game between Paul and I for point values. I'm gonna burn 180, come on down, shoot you in the rear paw, three dice, no ability to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> We're going 11 rounds. <laughs> All right, but it's not over just yet, Paul. You do have to uh, move your four, and then I get to move my three, but it <laughs> might be into round 11 here. <laughs> End oh, of round 10. Uh, flew on down, climbed my uh, Spitfire, Used tight turn, flew into the uh, cloud, went to neutral. No other action from him, I'm not sure. Signed the dues one. All right, but we're moving to round 11. Paul's going to clean up his board or the little zoom chits on his guys, and we're going to move into round 11. Welcome, everyone, to round 11. Paul and I are exhausted. <laughs> this has been a merry-go-round of oh needing to die. I have two guys that can basically, I just have to hit them one more time to end it. And now they're both at neutral, but they can only stay ever at neutral. And then Paul just needs one more boom shit. And his dice rolls have not been good for him. Not even close. Not even so, close. We're going to move to this guy first. Paul, check it. I don't think you have six inches to open the gameplay with some gunfire. Nope. All right. But he and him and him. So all your guys actually get to move first. So here's there before. He flew up the board, uh, just kept one inch out of the cloud, and now he's going to fire opening shot at me. So three dice, here we go. Paul just needs to see success, that's all he needs. Yes! 
And a critical on it, too! <laughs> wow, opening shot did better than all the dicey Should rolls. Should've been playing opening shot for years. Fine. Uh, but that is it. Um, I will take the third boon shit. That exceeds my morality. My Spitfires run off the board. This dogfight is over. Germany gets to walk away after 11 rounds of brutality. Um, we sure went 12. I don't even know at this point. It's fine. It, it's a, it was 11. I okay. Mean, I'll just correct it in post if uh, by putting a little thing. But Paul and I are going to jump into like a really, really quick. I think we're both exhausted <laughs> after this. After this, let me tell you, um, this match took a lot longer than I think either of us thought. But anyways, Germany takes the win. Let's get into that post game. Paul, congratulations. <laughs> you deserve a win from that. Oh my, <sighs> oh my gosh. Well, okay, so we're gonna make this brief. Paul's now, uh, just so you know, he's three to one to me, but that doesn't mean he's ahead. I could go on a big old winning streak and- I'm surprised we're not tied to <laughs> two, but okay. But I, I'm not surprised here, but then again, you know, it, there were some crazy shots. Um, I could have gotten it a few times, so anyways. So, um, it's very interesting, of course, uh, I apologize, mid-game we were just removing the 109Gs. Um, I actually had to re-read the, re -re the rules, because I swore I read the rules that squadrons track their own morale each, not a giant you know, whole game. And it's actually in the setup rules, each squadron actually tracks his own morale. So that's why the 109Gs kind of disappeared mid, and then once the Hurricanes hit their limit of five, they ran off, and once one of the Mosquitoes blew up, they ran off, and then the Spitfires were all that's left, and with one shot each at a three and a two, it's not a lot, but um, I kind of wish the Hurricanes had stayed around. I kind of wish the Mosquitoes had stayed around. Um, I kind of wish my dice would have been better to me. Yes, Man. my gosh, Paul, your dice were just, here in the end, your dice oh. just, you rolled like, I don't know how many dice. in a row. I, I, I did and better zero. on heavy hitter the last two than I did the last nine regular I mean, dice rolls. opening shot basically won you the game. Twice yeah, it, yeah opening twice shot, not heavy hitter. It got you, and heavy hitter fails us always. Yes. I feel like that's going to be a meme for us now, and I should just get a big old shirt that says it. Uh, just going to put make sense. It's heavy hitter fails. Leave it go. Yeah, pretty much. But anyways, yeah. So a lot of fun at 750 points. Um, it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Squad building was very fun. Um basically building what I did build. Um, kind of wish I had won it, but you know, dice rolls were the dice rolls. It's a dice game after all. All you're doing is trying to hit a six, so. Yep, that's easier uh, said than done, folks. Easier said than done, yes. But um, it was a lot of fun, nonetheless. Yes. Um, we're probably going to, just so you all know, we'll fluctuate between 750, 500. I think we're gonna move into 1,000, but again, mm -hmm. we'll start, uh, before we move to like other game modes with higher point values, we'll start off with, um, Dogfight with the higher point value. It's the easiest game mode. Um, it doesn't have a lot of other little rule sets in it. But yes, now don't worry if you're getting kind of bored. Oh, they're just playing dogfight some more. Oh, why do they keep playing dogfight? Don't worry. Uh, five and six will be um, fighter sweep, and then we'll probably move uh, seven to eight. We'll probably move to a higher point value. Probably for, we'll probably do a thousand points at seven. Try out 1,000 points, but we'll be back in dogfight so everyone can go, oh, dogfight again. <laughs> but then we'll probably do bounce. Um, I have, we'll probably get an escort, but it'll probably be exclusive right now to America doing escort. And then um, we'll look at, I'll look at the other game modes of intercept and the other ones as well, but I don't think we're gonna get into the whole rule book. There's just a lot more game modes that need way more rules, way more different things. And um, I feel like I want to try to keep it very simple for the first season. Don't Fair. worry, we'll, we'll get into those game modes probably after the season when we're taking a small couple months break, we're just doing normal battle content. Maybe getting back, like I said, we're rolling randomly for our playing values and all, or pilot values and all of that. Uh, we'll probably try other game modes. Cool. But yeah, so don't worry, episode five for all of you will be fighter sweep. And then episode six will be fighter sweep. Episode seven will be up to a thousand points. Um, and then uh, we'll be back dogfight, oh, dogfight. <laughs> but anyways, then episode eight, we'll probably try bounce. Um, but let you know, uh, our first game of fighter sweep will probably be at 500 points, try it out, easy enough. We'll go to 750 for the next one. We'll go to 1,000, try out 1,000 points for us. And then um, we'll do 500 points of bounce. So uh, yeah, um, before we get going, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really tells me a lot. Tells me you're quite enjoying the content. Um, share this around, tell your friends, have your friends tell their friends, tell your mother, tell your fathers, tell your grandparents, tell anyone who wants to just watch people throw dice around and complain that we don't hit sixes. 
Because that's or anything or anything truly, um, uh, for multiple rounds and <laughs> multiple Fact. rounds. Fact. But yes, uh, shared around. Really trying to get Mama Dragons miniatures really going here for you all. Again, if you're looking for TCG content, Mama Dragons TCG link down below. And then um, gaming will be coming in 2023. Uh, there's an issue where YouTube only lets me have two verify two accounts per year for my phone number. So gaming 2023 because uh, I can't verify the gaming channel until 2023. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's it, Paul. Any last words of great wisdom? Make sure your dice is. Make sure you try to roll your dice a little better than I do. You know, we could have been home a long time ago, but no, I wanted to roll extra. It's fine. <laughs> Let's roll. Yeah, let's roll. Anyways, uh, thank you all, everyone, for watching here on Mama Dragon's Miniatures, and we'll see you here next time on Blood Red Skies. See you later.